morning all. It is Friday, I want to say the 3rd of May, round about then. I am just about to head off on another road trip. This time I am heading, I'm heading back down to the Cotswolds actually to stay with Lexi and we are going to go to Badminton Horse Trails tomorrow with Jules. So as always, I want to bring you guys along with me, share with you what I'm doing. Um, it's going to be such a fun weekend. Good morning all, it is Saturday morning, um, it's badminton day, cross country day no less, um, and I'm just up, just getting organised, I'm going to get, I'm going to do a wee bit of yoga to stretch off, jump in the shower, get dressed, to get ready to go, I'm so excited. So I've never actually been to badminton before, um, so I'm quite excited just for that, just to be there at such a big event and such a big kind of 70 year anniversary year as well. Um, the sun is shining. I don't think it's meant to be very warm today, but the sun is shining, so I'm happy girl. <laughs> find Lexi, see how she's looking because I've not seen her in her outfit yet, um, get a cup of tea. <laughs>
literally we cannot be far now, can we? We are literally people are walking, so but we're stuck in traffic, just waiting to get into badminton. Really keen to get in there to get something to eat because <laughs> um, we're both starving. Um, and just get out of the car and soak up badminton. One plus point is Radio One have nailed the music this morning. Absolutely. Have they not? Smashed it. Currently got a bit of Britney going on. Classic Britney, you know, like the early days. I think that matters. The later stuff was a bit questionable. But um, yeah, so that's kept us going this morning. It's been good. Fabulous day. I've not vlogged the lunch. I've not vlogged anything so far. So I'm going to do better. I promise. <gasps> it's been a busy afternoon so far, hasn't it? Oh, oh but Ma Mackenzie and George purchases. I cannot believe the time. It's like half past four. Flying. Absolutely flying in. Hardly seen anything. <laughs> um, just the whole week. <laughs> absolutely. So we're heading back to Jules' stand just now. No, Jules picnic area just now for more fizz with all the country bloggers and um, so that'll be really lovely so we're gonna go and do that just now and then maybe one last quiz around the shops yeah, one last one. Um, before the end of the day so that'll be good Last night. Um, however, I'm up and at it. Oh yeah, don't mind the shotgun behind me. Just in case any intruders come in last night, I just needed to have it handy. Um, so badminton was amazing. As always, I haven't haven't vlogged nearly adequately enough. Um, so I thought I'd just sort of run you get you up to date with what went on. So we set off from here fairly early, before nine, I think. Um, and what should have been an hour's drive took us two and a half hours drive. In fact, we actually got to two miles before uh, badminton and then we got stuck there for another hour just trying to <coughs> crawl in, which was a bit of a pain in the neck, particularly when I was trying to do a Jules takeover from badminton. I never got there till lunchtime. Um, however, um, we got there in the end. It was actually a beautiful day. Very, very sunny, just a bit blowy and a little bit cold. Um, so anyway, we got there. Um, and we headed over to the Jules picnic area, which is right by the Jules jump. 
um, beautiful little floral area set up with picnic benches, it had a little stage with a selfie booth um, and a guy singing and stuff like that so it was really really lovely. We met up with Holly and Rosie from Jules, who are the sweetest girls. Um, had a wee glass of fizz with them and a wee catch up. Um, from there we headed back down to the shopping village. Um, we really didn't get a chance to see a lot at all. Um, was kind of really focused on Jules yesterday. Spent a bit of time on the stand in there, which is enormous. <laughs> Absolutely huge. Um, they did such a great job. So they had the full range there um, and a sort of remarketing booth. So they were doing sort of hoopla and things like that to win Jules prizes. Um, really, really cute. And then all of a sudden, it seemed, it was two o'clock and time for lunch. So we had been invited to a beautiful lunch inside the Port Club, which is one of the sort of marquee areas around the grandstand. Um, so we headed there for a beautiful lunch. The food was delicious, um, which is so, so nice because normally when you come to these events, you're talking sort of burger van stuff. Um, and for me, I'm vegetarian, so it generally is cheese. Uh, cheese? I'm still half asleep. It's generally uh, chips. Chips is the way to go. Chips and cheese, actually. Often. Maybe that's why my brain went <laughs> there. And then... From there, we literally had a quick squeeze through just a little tiny proportion of the of the shopping village. Went in and saw our friends at Mackenzie and George and Hi Ho Silver and Holland Cooper. Um, got to meet the lovely Lydia um, from LD Equestrian. I've known her online for probably about three years now. Um, so it was a lovely to see her in person. Um, but that was kind of it. We really didn't see anything else. Um, because we had to head back to the Jules picnic area for more fizz um, and catch up with all the, the bloggers and influencers who were invited to the day. So it was really, really lovely. Um, yeah, just a really lovely day out. So I didn't catch up with half the people that I was intending to catch up with yesterday. So apologies if I ever got round to you guys. It wasn't um, intentional in any way. It was just we ran out of time. Um, and then the day was kind of over and we decided we were going to go for a Thai meal. Thai, I think, is my favourite type of food ever. It's just so delicious. Um, and we went to this place in a local village to, to Lexi in the Cotswolds. And it's one of these kind of old thatch roofed um, old pubs and the Thai restaurants in the back of that. So not what you expect from a Thai restaurant at all. But the food was absolutely delicious. And it was really, really lovely to catch up with Lexi's husband, Brad, and her son, Toby, as well. Um, so a lovely end to a lovely day. So it's now Sunday morning, and I'm heading back to Scotland this morning. Um, so I kind of better get up and have a shower, wash my hair, and um, yeah, hit the road. So that is my plan. I should hopefully get home just after lunchtime actually. It's about five and a half hours from here, so it's not too bad at all. Um, and like I say, before with these kind of road trips, it's actually quite nice to have five and a half hours on my own. That doesn't really happen at home very often. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I've got more podcasts li lined up to to listen to. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, and then probably go home and sleep. <laughs>